what's going on? So, this morning we woke up, New Year's Day, and it was snowing. I don't know if you can see all the snow. Uh, there's a bunch of snow on the cars and stuff. Uh, but yeah, so it's snowing today, which was kind of fun because I don't, I, we're about 500 feet higher than we were at our other place, so I think that little difference made the rain turn into snow. It's not really sticking much, but it's still fun to watch. So, unfortunately, today is the Giants' last day, and I won't get to watch it, but I'm going to watch some highlights on my phone. Otherwise, I am going to hang out in the office today, and I am going to kind of prep a little bit. It's kind of a hot mess right now. There's a million things going on. I have to find studs in the wall and put up... Uh, shelving and decide where I'm gonna put things, where am I gonna put my desk, um, all that type of stuff. So that is what today is going to entail. Plus, my hats are in here somewhere. Like my personal hats, I think they got mixed up with all this stuff, so I wanna find, I wanna find them. <laughs> I know this video is already late. It's already late, but Benson and myself and his dad are making some walls, right, Benson? Yeah. And let's just call you babe. This is B, and like I'm usually like, right, babe? So we have one wall framed. It's super bright in here. Let's change the aperture. So we have this one wall already kind of done, except for the sheetrock put up. And now Benson and I are working on this other wall while his dad runs and grabs something or another. So I'm very excited. It's been, uh, a little bit of a crazy day today. I thought I would be able to have this video up earlier, but unfortunately, that just didn't happen. And you know, it's like, I, I used to get so mad at myself for not getting things done in the time that I felt they should get done, but I've also noticed that like, shit happens. <laughs> and there's just like no other way to put it, there's no other way to, to like bounce around it, except to just like be like, yeah, I thought it would be done, and unfortunately it's just not, so. But we're, we're being very proactive here in the office, which I'm the most excited for, so. I guess I should help him. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Aiden, and it is a winter wonderland outside today. It is snowing like crazy. Today is Wednesday, January, what's today, Jaylee? January, January, January 4th. January 4th, it's like, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something like that. We've been going to bed super, super late um, just because we've been like getting caught up in doing things and prepping the house and stuff. This morning we woke up to a winter wonderland, which is awesome, but uh, you know, it's, it's good, but I also like, we live on this pretty steep hill so there is no way that I'm going anywhere today, so unfortunately I won't be able to go to the gym or really do anything. But that's okay, I'm gonna be stuck in the house and I'll just work and stuff. You're gonna get a slew of videos because I don't have internet in this house. Well, we have internet in this front half, half of the house, but not the back half. And I don't even have good enough internet to put up a YouTube video. So I'm gonna have to be going to Starbucks to upload my videos until the landlord can get the, the internet all figured out. So that's why you don't really have any videos from me. I did take some time off of Instagram and Snapchat just to kind of focus on the move so I can like be here with Jenny Lee and you know be uh, a present in the moment. Otherwise, we're moving in really well. Things are going awesome. Very grateful for our new space. And this snow is freaking awesome. So I think uh, I'll probably edit some videos today and work in the office and uh, hopefully be able to tomorrow go to Starbucks. And I'll probably upload a couple of videos, you know, uh, probably one a day until I'm all caught back up. So sorry that I've been MIA, but not on purpose. Not on purpose. <laughs>
What's going on YouTube family? I would like to introduce you to my new home. Now I was thinking, hey, maybe I should like sit here and go over the whole house, but honestly, I think you all know what you're looking at when you see it. I think you know what a kitchen is and what a hallway is and all that other stuff. So instead, I'm going to talk about a few other things, uh, kind of two other things. The first thing is how much money this place costs. I know that's what everybody asks. Oh, by the way, it's kind of a hot mess in here, so it's not exactly the cleanest thing, but you know, I'm only human. So uh, yeah, so how much does this place cost? Now, I am not gonna tell you how much money I make a year, and honestly, that's because I really don't know. I identify as an entrepreneur, I have my company .5cc, I have my YouTube, I have my speaking events, I do my online coaching, so there's a lot of things I do that bring in some type of paycheck to me, but none of it is consistent. It's not like every Friday I know that I'm going to be making X amount of money. It's very inconsistent. So some months I might find that I have extra cash flow and some months I have a negative cash flow. So. To be really transparent with you guys, um, this place, uh, the other place I was living at, um, each year the rent went up $100. So from when I started living there to when I ended living there, it went up $300. It's going to go up another 100 bucks. So from the place I was living last to this place here, the only difference is $150 a month. That's it nothing crazy this is not some dramatic move it's just the quality of the place we're living at now is so drastic to the place we used to live that it seems like so much it would be so much more money but it's actually only 150 bucks extra which is freaking phenomenal and a big reason why me and Jenny Lee or Jenny Lee and I can afford a place like this so uh, also you know um, you know, even like YouTube, like, you know, I, I I just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, maybe if I made a bunch of money, I wouldn't mind being like, I make 100000 a year, but I don't make that. Um, I have big dreams and aspirations for my life, and um, financial goals are in those dreams also, but I'm more about just wanting to feel good and feel provided for in all senses, whether that's needing 20 bucks, whether that's just needing you know, um, someone to help drive somewhere or pick me up. I mean, I don't really care so much about the dollar amount. I just want to know that I'm provided for it. That's really my main thing. Um, this is a makeshift room, by the way, for Jane Lee's office because we don't have internet all over the house just yet. Um, but whatever. So uh, from YouTube, I've been getting some more views, which is awesome. Um, every time, you know, more like hits, more shares, which is great. And I used to make about fifty to seventy-five dollars on YouTube, maybe this time last year. Now I make about a hundred dollars, seventy-five to a hundred dollars on YouTube, which is great. I mean, I'm not complaining, but by no means do I. I mean, that's literally not even for the amount of time and hours I put into editing and creating these videos. It's probably barely minimum wage, probably more like five bucks an hour or something like that a month. Um, so just being super transparent there, but that wasn't really the main focus. I mean, everyone's focused on money, so I just wanted to put it out there for y'all to know um, that I live my life really happily and abundantly without needing tons and tons of money. Uh, me and Jenny live very minimalistically as we can, um, provided we both have businesses and stuff. So the other focus I wanted to touch on is gratitude. I really feel like me and Jane Lee have been Jane Lee and I have been looking for a place to live for the last year. Since this time last year, we were looking to move in December of 2015, and it just did not happen. It was just not gonna happen. Then we tried to move in June of 2016, and that didn't happen either. So instead of us just being really mad about the place we were living and how it wasn't meeting our needs. Instead, we actually focused on the opposite. We focused on how amazing the place we have right now fits exactly what we need. How it had a garage for me, it had an office space for Jane Lee, that it had, you know, all the room we could possibly need. And, you know, there were a lot of things we didn't like about that place. There was, you know, it, I was outgrowing my studio. Um, those are all boxes and, and newspaper, by the way. It's not just all trash. <laughs> uh, Buddy's coming to pick those up because he's moving soon. But yeah, so 
Again, it was about being grateful for what we had. We hated the carpet and the, comp and the kitchen was too small and Jane Lee's office was like in the house and that was really inconvenient. And so there were a lot of things we didn't like, but what we did was we focused on what we had that was providing for us. We were being constantly, constantly being grateful for what we actually had and not just focusing on what we didn't have. And that's something that Jane Lee and I practice all the time on the daily, being grateful for what we have and not focusing on what we do not have. When you focus on what you don't have, all it does is attract more things for you not to have. And you know what happens when you uh, focus on things that you want and, or things on that you do have and you show gratuity for those? You get more of those things. So, And I really, really learned that in 2016 and I totally plan on bringing that into my 2017. So I hope you all enjoyed the little bit of tour. Thanks again for uh, bearing with me this week and I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out guys.